Hey YouTube family, how you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about Harry and Megan. Let's call them Nutmeg and Ginger Nut. Just this past Friday, they christened their little girl Lil Bit. She's now to be called Princess Lil Bit, and Archie is Prince Archie. Now, I'm really confused with these two crazy ass kids. I mean, they're not kids, they're like damn near middle age but they are like, they really are crazy as hell. How is it that these two, on one hand, for the past couple of years, they complained about the royal family. The, the royal family, the institution itself is racist. That's what Harry says. But Megan says the royal family is the one that's racist. Uh, they also said the institution itself is dysfunctional. Harry claimed that uh, he, he's got PTSD. Uh, he felt like the spare, he felt like he was neglected. He didn't get the bigger room. What else did Harry say? Oh, he, he was never hugged. I mean, how, how can they do all that complaining on one hand, then turn around and give their daughter and their son prince and princess titles? Crazy, right? Nutmeg and Ginger Nut, they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Here's another thing. What happens when little Princess Lil Bit and Prince Archie goes to school in America. I don't give a damn if it's a private school. The world knows that these two, those two kids, their parents are crazy as hell. They know worldwide that Nutmeg and Ginger Nut are two crazy ass people. They know it. And the kids are gonna be cruel as hell to them. Trust me, kids can be cruel anyways because they have no filters yet. Their poor brains, the frontal lobe has not been developed yet. So they, whatever comes up, comes out. So they will not have any filters. They won't be sensitive. So these two are gonna be walking around American schools, even if it's, even if it's a wealthy private school, which they're gonna work like hell to put them through, they are still gonna get teased. But why would Harry and Megan, why would they wanna do that? I thought the institution itself was dysfunctional, uh, nutmeg and ginger nut. I thought it was dysfunctional. Now all of a sudden you want your kids to be addressed prince and princess? I love how Buckingham Palace handled it. I love how the royal family handled it. Give them exactly what they want. That's what you want to change it, then you get it. Here, we're gonna go, Buckingham Palace change the names immediately. Now it's Prince Lil, Princess Lil Bit and Prince Archie. I love how they're playing these two. Give them enough rope to hang themselves because they, they are making no sense. And I think what at the core, they are just, Harry is just so damaged. Megan, is, see, she sees this as an opportunity because now they, they gotta hang on, desperately hang on to those royal titles because that's the only way they can make money. That's the real deal. Because these two, they cannot rake in $100 million again. I don't see that happening. So they got to try to drum up whatever sort of uh, um, content based off of this. They want to monetize the royal name. So they're going to desperately hold on to it any way that they can. They are really desperate because they don't have any money. They got that hundred million is going away fast. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking, we're not talking poor like the average person. We talking about rich people poor. And, and Megan, they live in this 30 bedroom mansion, you know, and they're held up in there. Well, Megan is, cause Harry's out doing what the hell he wanna do. So you guys let me know what you think about this new tidbit of information. Lil Princess Lil Bit and Prince, uh, what's his name? Prince Archie. I didn't forget their name. It's crazy. These two. Let me know what you think in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.